the greatest common factor of two numbers. Now, this is important to understand where our vocabulary is. What is a factor of a number? And I'm going to go back and review just a little bit, and we'll take a look at a number like 24. If I have the number 24, and I want to look for all of its divisors, another word for divisor in this case is factor. Let's list all of the factors, divisors of 24. Now, one way to do it would be just simply start working through the multiplication table, but I know I'm going to be dealing with bigger numbers eventually, so I'm going to do this by factoring, and we will recall from a previous video that I can take these numbers and put them into a table that would help me build all of the factors or divisors of 24. And you saw this in the video earlier on listing or determining all the uh, divisors of a number. Notice two ranges from zero, cho zero twos chosen all the way up to three, since we have three twos in the prime factorization of 24. Three ranges from zero threes to one three, since there's one three. And I will begin filling this in, and we can see that all of the divisors or factors of 24 are in this list right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Very easy, very straightforward. But what we wind up doing in mathematics is sometimes we need a common factor between two numbers. I want to find, let's say, all the common factors between two numbers. And let's suppose my two numbers would be something like 36 and 48. And I want to know all of the numbers that divide these two numbers evenly, i.e., they are factors that can be used to get to 36 and 48 through the process of multiplication. Well, 36 is 6 times 6, which is 2 times 3, 2 times 3. And 48 is 6 times 8, well, that's 2 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So this means then that I have to look at these two numbers, and I see that I have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, for 36, I also have 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd power. And for 48, I'm going to have 2 all the way up to the 4th power. So let me list these. And 3 will go up to the 1st power. Now, I'm going to fill both charts in, and we'll see what we have here. Let's see. 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 12, 9, 18, 36. So these are all of the divisors or factors. Those are synonyms of 36. Let's fill this chart in. I get 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 3, 6, 12, 3 times 8, 24, and 48. So what are all of the common factors of 36 and 48? Well, I see that they both have a 1 in common. I see that they both have a 2 in common. They have 4 in common. 
I look at the 8, I do not see an 8 here. 16, 3. Hey, they have a 3 in common. 6 is in common. So I'll. 12 is in common. I'm going to go back to circle for 12. 24, no. 48, no. So these two numbers have common factors of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. But in mathematics, what we want to determine is the largest or the greatest in value of all of these common factors, and we see that would be 12. Now, just how would we like to have to deal with this if this is the only method we can use? Suppose I were to give us two numbers, large numbers, and I want to find the largest common factor between them. Suppose I want to find the greatest common factor of the numbers 280 and 144. Now, we could do the same method we just did where we build a table for 280, we build a table for 144, and then we just start looking for what's in common. Are you going to want to do that for large numbers, though? Probably not. So, I do know, though, from a previous work we have done, that 280 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. And I also know that 144, when it is factored, is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now, if we're looking for the greatest common factor, what we're looking for is a number that divides both of these numbers evenly. So notice, I know a 2 will divide both of these numbers because both of them have a 2. So I claim at this point I've kind of used that 2 in building this number. I'm not going to reuse them. I can pair another set of 2's together. I can pair yet another pair of 2's together. But notice I have no more 2's to use. I'm not going to recount. These are common factors, so it's not like building a common multiple. Don't reuse. Do I, does the 2 match up with anything? No. Does the 3 match up? No. Nor does the other 3. So the largest number that is inside of, as kind of the prime factorization of 280 and 144, is 2 times 2 times 2. So therefore, 8 is the largest common factor. It is the largest number that will divide 280 and 144 evenly in the set of whole numbers. So we have found this number. If you wanted to find all of the factors of these two numbers that they have in common, simply take the greatest common factor and find all of its factors, namely 1, 2, and 4 in this case. Well, good luck and go find some greatest common factors.